Hello, I'm Darren Bell, and I am the instructor for Econ 202 Macroeconomics at Treasure Valley Community College. I'm going to walk you through how to do the current event term project. So we have to do four current event postings within Blackboard this term for this project. Let's go ahead and start. So first question, what is a current event? So the current event, uh, it can happen anywhere. That's the first thing I want to let you know. It can be local, regional, national, or international. As you go out and look at your local, regional, national, or international news sources, you will find events out there. So I just gave some examples of where you might look here uh, on the Internet or in um, newspapers those type of things to find your current event, find something out about uh, what's going on in the world around you. And second, of course, it's timely. We want this to be timely, so as current as possible. So something that's going to be maybe a month old, that might not be as current, right, as something that happened in the last week or even happened yesterday. Okay, so as current as possible when you write these. So what topic, what should I write about? So First, the question I would ask you is, what are we covering in the course? We're covering macroeconomics. We're talking about things every time we're in class or every time you watch a video, right, on the uh, website. If you're, if you're taking the course online, there's the chapter videos. What's being talked about in the chapter videos and then in the chapter? That's what you should write about, whether you search for those topics in, in Google or whether you're just going to go to a website and look at the different topics and say, hey, you know what, that relates to the topic we're talking about in class. I'm going to give you an example at the end of this presentation to kind of connect the dots there. Second, make sure it is macro related and not micro related. So one of the biggest things you can, uh, you're going to ask yourself, right, is this dealing with a decision a consumer is making or an individual business. There may be an article that's going to be kind of ambiguous, maybe not related to one or the other. Make sure when you do your analysis and all the thing, or you write up, you're writing about the macro side of that current event. Stuff we're covering in class this term, not micro stuff, not not supply and demand, not um, any of those things related to microeconomics. Okay. Then lastly is you can keep building on the same topic if you would like. Or you can do a whole different topic for each post. So you gotta do four posts during the term. Stay with the same topic and keep building on it. If you do that, you're gonna have to still do your three paragraph format, but uh, you're, and you're also going to need to cite, uh, have a new citation for each post. Uh, new, some new information, something new that you learn for each post. How to get an A. This is the structure you're going to give a brief summary of your article. So keep it brief. It's, I don't want it to be half of the, what you write is the summary, right? I can go read the article if I want to get into detail. Just keep the first paragraph brief. Secondly, I'm, I want you to analyze. This may be a little longer than the brief summary, right? So analyze, use econ vocabulary that you're learning, use it correctly. So that's something I'm going to call you on if you, if you, use some econ vocabulary just to throw it in there and it's not used correctly you're definitely going to get dinged up for that and if you have questions about whether you're using something correctly or whether you understand it or if it applies to your current event email me come talk to me uh, ask me and i will help connect the dots for you also uh, data and graphs are welcome as you analyze a lot of times you're going to find those in the article you can pull them into your your posting would love to have those your opinion is really the last paragraph you're going to write about. So really, this is really only three paragraphs for a post. Brief summary, analyze, and then your opinion on the last. Don't mix opinion and analysis. Make sure to separate them out into separate paragraphs so I know which one is which. Last but not least, make sure you cite something. There has to be a citation included. That's got, that's a must. Got to put your citation in there. I'll show you how to do that here as we end this. Hello. So I wanted you to just give you an introduction 
maybe a, an actual example of how to do some of the steps required for the term project current um, event posting. So first off, what I have here on the screen is chapter six, right? So something we're covering currently in the course. And so as I look through that, I see, well, here's GDP. How do we measure GDP? It talks about one of the things that is included in the expenditure method of GDP is in investment expenditure. So I, I read that and I think, oh, that's interesting as part of my study. Now I go out and look for a current event. So as I go out and look for a current event, I am on the Idaho Statesman, right? A, kind of a regional newspaper. And I find an article that says, want to build a business building in Eagle. It will cost you. So I read the article and I find out, well, that really is talking about investment, right? That's, that's related to the macroeconomic term that I'm learning. And so I thought, well, I can do an article on this and relate it back to that econ vocabulary that I'm learning in the course and analyze it a little bit and then give my opinion, cite it, and there we go. There's my current event. So how do I cite it properly? Well, let me tell you. In business and economics, we use MLA format. And so what you can do is you can go to a site. You can just go ahead and type in, for example, in Google, you can type in uh, citation, right? And that's going to come up with several different citation sites where you can go to. I'm going to just pop, pick the top one at the list there. It's called Citation Machine. And it's going to give me some options on which style I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose MLA. Uh, then it, it pulls up website. So that's good for me. I can go ahead and go back to the website, pull off just the URL address at the top of the website there. So I'm going to copy that. I can right click and, and copy or use my keyboard shortcut for that. Go back to the citation window and I'm going to paste it in there and do search websites. It'll come up with a lot of, it's going to say, okay, is this the one you're talking about right here? There's advertisements and stuff you got to kind of ignore. So it's got everything. It doesn't have the date published, but that is back here on uh, the right there. It's going to be uh, the date published is here on the original article in the Idaho State on the Idaho Statesman website. So I can use that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit final step and it will ask me to put that in there uh, under electronically published and then hit create citation. Okay, so here, here we go. Right here in this box then becomes my uh, citation that I can put in there, right? So the, um, and I can go ahead and copy and copy that and paste that to the end of my current event posting, right? It's kind of the bibliography part of what we're doing here. So, so anyways, that's how you do it. Gives you some tips on maybe something you want to do. If you have any questions on whether your current event that you have found relates to macroeconomics, come and ask me and we can talk about it and maybe I can give you some ideas that you can put into your posting. Have a good day. Bye.